Freezing are some harrowing moments for first responders as two boys were caught in the cold in the middle of the Yellowstone River. A helicopter rescue bringing the boys back to shore and safety, but both cold and in need of medical attention. Those boys, believed to be in their pre or early teens, were stranded on an island in the middle of the river near the Billings water plant for at least an hour. Q2 on scene to capture the rescue on video. Take a look. We've learned the two boys were from a runaways from the New Day Ranch, a youth group home. Several local law enforcement agencies responded and aided in their recovery. Eventually, the fire department was able to reach the teens by raft, but that's also when Gary Blaine from Billings Flying Services landed a helicopter on the island to haul them out. Now, one of the boys was on the ground and needed medical attention quickly. The helicopter rescue helped make quick work of a dangerous situation. What he did in five minutes right there could have taken us very well, taken us 30, 40 minutes very easy. And it would have likely exposed the patient to the you know, frigid conditions of the river again, whereas moving him in the helicopter, uh, he's able to stay in a much more controlled environment. Now we checked in with Yellowstone County Sheriff Mike Linder tonight. He tells us both the boys were awake and talking with medical personnel and appeared to be doing okay. Well, tonight morning was covered by a celebration of life for a 14 year old girl found dead a few weeks after she disappeared near Busby. Henny Scott's body was found Friday, December 28th. Tonight, Pastor Dennis Bauer offered words of comfort to the 200 people who crowded into Lame Deer High School. He talked about feelings of anger, but also encouraged everyone to pray for those involved in the investigation of Scott's death. Tonight, her mother's focus was on her smile and her